Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury and lifestyle videos. Consider hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on any uploads. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, exciting topic to close out the year, guys. Best of 2018. Quick disclaimer, I know people sometimes don't like disclaimers. These are just products that I've tried that I've loved for this year. There's a mixture of makeup, there's a mixture of skincare and a mixture of fragrance as well as tools and things like that this is just what i've loved this year and products that i personally have tried and love there's newer releases there's older releases just things that i've loved so enough of that let's get into the video guys okay, let's do a skincare product first product is the drunk elephant c firma day serum basically having your vitamin c in your routine is key it's amazing i have a lot of um, hyperpigmentation and just like scars from acne and spots that I have picked and also haven't and they just leave dark marks so this has been crucial in helping me fade those helping regenerate my skin the um this version is the ascorbic acid version they've got L ascorbic acid it is the most unstable they have put it in a pump that is protected but the only downside is it does still oxidize and it is quite expensive but there's 30 mils of it I really loved it I have used the, um, different versions like the ordinaries one that one didn't really do much for me this is my second repurchase i believe of this and i've been loving it so once i finish this i will try another one but this has been a game changer in my skincare routine with my dark marks as well definitely seen some improvements with this so yeah i love it and also with this one they say um it can stay in your skin for 72 hours when i first started using it i didn't know that so i was wearing it like <laughs> i was wearing it monday to friday with my skincare routine so now i only use it three times a week i put it on my so that i can set the product but yeah it does oxidize quickly which is still quite annoying the products i show will be linked below for anyone who's interested the next products i have are some nars products these are the nars liquid blushes i have seriously become quite the narcissist this year i've been finding a lot of nars products in my routine in my regular rotation i love these i've got these shades hot tin roof and dolce vita now i'm sorry but i think hot tin roof was a limited edition and that you can no longer get dolce vita i believe is still available but honestly i love these they come with a pump it's quite a bit in there it's 15 mils honestly a little goes a long way just spray just um, do one pump on the back of your hand or on a palette take a nice duo fiber or natural hair brush and just dab in it dab it on the back of your hand and then put it on and just really go small 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 light hand small touches and blend out so a little goes a long way with these but yeah i love these i've really been enjoying um cream liquid emuls um what's the word like liquid and emulsive products basically next i'll do some tools so i have a brush i've got the wayne goss number 10 brush it is a cheek brush forgive its appearance i literally used it today to do my makeup but it's a cheek brush it's like a nice it's sort of a bulbous tapered tapered brush Go, uh goat hair i believe um it is honestly the softest cheek brush cheek brush but I've been loving it. Really nice size of the brush, the ferrule, the handle, everything. Nice and sleek. I've been using this brush a lot with my liquid blushes, with my highlighters as well, my powder highlighters too. Great multitasker for cream and powder and liquid products because natural hair brushes, they pick up the perfect amount. They disperse it so soft and I just dip it in my product and swipe it on. And with this brush, I find that I can't over apply products because it's natural hair. For me, worth the money that I pay for it because I've been using it so often, honestly love it. Next, I have the Stila Liquid Eyeshadows. I have been a pioneer and honestly, I go on about this even on my Instagram, people have probably had enough. I always go on about these the glitter and they've got the shimmer. So the shimmer one, I love for more of like an even base, like a base for my shadows even for cut creases. Um, I've used the green one for liner, that was really nice. The glitters, I've loved them as like patting on your lid for eyeshadow, bit of glitter, again for cut creases, they're fantastic. The applicator, really good size, the fact that it does come with an applicator. Sometimes I've really wanted glitter and I've been in a rush and I haven't got time to do the full five step you know, eyeshadow routine. I just swipe one of these on, wing it out sometimes and I've got a look. So. Honestly, check these out, guys. Next, I have another makeup product. I've got the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I have been loving this mascara. Honestly, guys, it's amazing. 
they have since released the um, a short travel size one so if you want to sample it you don't want to spend almost $50 on mascara or here or in Australia anyway try out the mini love it the brush for this I love it it's like tapered the bristles aren't too big with the NARS Climax one because I got those about the same time. They released about similar times. That brush is so big, I always poke myself in the eye with it. This one, the brush is really, it's nice and tapered. I can get in and do my lower lash line really well. I can get to the root of my upper lashes and comb it through. The depth, the length and volume that this brush gives and the, the formula, it's amazing. doesn't flake on me. It lasts all day. It separates and also gives me that nice volume. I honestly love it. Next, I've got another mascara, but I don't have it now because I have finished it. It is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. That is another fantastic mascara that I love. Once I finish this Hourglass one, I will be buying the full size. I know it had a big gimmicky release, but it was really good mascara for me, especially in the travel size version. I do like the travel size brushes. You could get in, it, the volume it gave for my lower lashes was fantastic. The volume for the upper lashes, but it is really hard to get off though. That's the only thing. You need a lot of oil, but I love that mascara too. Fantastic mascara. So those two, definitely hands down my best mascaras of 2018. Next, I have another Hourglass product and it is the Strobe Lights. These little things. I have a mini because obviously before investing that kind of money in a highlighter that I'm probably not going to finish. A mini is probably quite wise. These are 1.3 grams fantastic size so i've got the shade euphoric strobe light i'm in love guys i actually have it on today and on glance in the pan you would think this is not suitable for my skin tone i really like the glow that it gives whenever i have used this highlighter i always get compliments and it's not these formulas are not glittery i'll swatch it on the back of my hand so it looks quite scary on my finger and a bit on my hand it's a bit of a beigey light but when you when you smooth it out it's just a really nice it's a really nice dewy glow you know and the compliments i get they're like you're really glowing and beaming and it's not like a art you can't tell it's an artificial glow you know it's like a surreal i, I like the word ethereal <laughs> ethereal surreal glow you know like it looks like your skin is just really healthy if you can go swatch these try these out and the minis are a lot better in terms of price and the amount because even though the big one probably make, make sense in the long run you probably aren't going to finish and pan a full size highlighter so it's great that they gave you that option on the topic of hourglass i have another product i have the um arch brow volumizing fiber gel this little cutie i have in the shade dark brunette the size first of all big plus travel size it is a bit pricey for a brow gel it is three mils now what I love about this, it also comes, it comes in colours, like tinted colours and also clear. What I love about this though, is the brush, the actual brush that it has and the formula of the product. You've got, it's a dual ended, it's like a dual ended brush. On one end, you've got really short, short bristles and the other end you've got a bit longer. So you can really get into the short hairs in your brow and then the long hairs you can comb it down. This product has really been a saviour for me when I've been in a rush in the morning when I haven't got time to do the drawing on because for me sometimes drawing on brows it takes a lot longer because my brows are quite thick because it's tinted I just comb my brows set them and it looks like I still have brows it's also really great if you like the fluffy brow look you can go in with the really long edge and fluff your brow up and give it that natural sort of look formula as well it doesn't make your brows you know sometimes you use some gels and they set in it's like your brows go really rock hard you don't get that with this product so I love that. Jumping back onto the NARS train, I have a foundation. This is the NARS release this year, the natural, it's got a long name, natural radiant longwear foundation. Love it, guys. I'm in the shade Macau. This has been amazing. Oh, guys, where do I start? So it comes with a pump. I love this foundation, guys. I get so many compliments when I wear this foundation. And for me, why I love it, the look that I get when I finish this, my skin just looks flawless, you know? And it really just brings it all together. I look nice, healthy, glowy. I don't look shine like a shiny oil slick, but I look really glowy, really healthy, and it just it smooths over my complexion and really makes me look flawless. That's the way I can describe it. I say, oh, that is like red. Your skin looks amazing. I'm like, it's the mask. 
I've also done a review on this foundation which I will link up here if you wanted to check that out. I did a wear test and everything. Since we are on the complexion products, I thought I'll jump in with another one. This one is from Too Faced. It is their Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Long names. I've been using the shade Maple. I love this. A, the amount, 15 mils. B, the applicator, the doe foot. Fantastic. I love it. Um, C, the coverage is amazing. I really don't need a lot. I just put a little bit and then blend it out with my beauty blender or brush, however I like to use it. The colouring is great. The amount, honestly, you guys, this is pigmented enough. You could even use this foundation. You could just put this on blemishes, blend it out and wear this, you know, in its entirety. It will be great for contouring as well. The amount of product that the doe foot brings out, you can use for both your eyes. So I love this concealer. Definitely my favourite concealer of the year. Since I finished my MAC one and I loved that back then, I really struggled to find a concealer I liked. So this one has definitely been my favourite for the year. And I have a bit of a newer entry for me. This one I discovered a bit later on in the year. This is the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. This product is amazing. Now, before this, I was using the Stila um, Liquid Liner Pen, which also is great. But I've really been reaching for this over the Stila and I love it. It's really black and intense. As long as you store it the correct way, it's always saturated with product. The nib is great. So flexible. It's fantastic. And the point is so sharp, you know, and so precise. And I honestly get a perfect wing every time. It's honestly so black, like there's no skipping. Love it, favorite liner of the year for me. Sorry, Stila, Fenty getting to slay. This one is a very new entry, very new release for me, but the time that I've used it, I know I 100% will be using a lot more. And when I looked at all the, it's a palette, when I looked at all the palette releases this year and the ones I've really been loving in my collection and used, this palette to me stood out in terms of what I loved, what I've used, what I reached for. It is the Natasha Denona Gold palette, guys. Now I know, Blue, this only just released this month or last month. I know guys, I've loved it. I've used it four times on camera. I've used it a lot more off camera. <laughs> Color Story, the versatility of the shadows, the formulas on offer, this gold, the mustard. It's not anything I have. It's a lot, the browns are a lot cooler, toned. The shimmers are different. They're so versatile. I love this palette. And I know like you guys can see it's already a hot mess. But for me, this is my favorite palette of the year saying and then the last beauty iso makeup iso i have is actually lip gloss in general i have been definitely i've been reaching a lot more for lip gloss this year than i have liquid lipstick or even bullet lipsticks i've been loving glosses i have gloss on now super easy to just swipe on and off you go put some light if you want put a lip liner on put some gloss on you're good to go the pigmented ones the really sheer ones really comfortable especially the formulas like the nars ones the Colourpop one, really hydrating formula, love those. So gloss in general for me this year has actually been a bit more of the deal, big deal rather than matte lipsticks that dry and suck your lips dry. Okay, we'll go back to tools. The next two entries I've got are MAC brushes. Now, it's a bit, bit funny with these ones because MAC has changed since changed their brushes. They no longer do natural hair block brushes. They're all synthetic. So I don't know, I'm not, I can't speak for the new brushes at the moment. I've not tried this, I don't know how they perform compared to these. That would be a cool video to do. But I've got the MAC 242 and the 217. This shouldn't be a surprise here. If you've watched any of my tutorials recently, these two brushes have made an appearance in every single one. 217 is a bit older for me. It, guys, I've used it for today's makeup looks. The 217 is just a blending brush. Um, I love it. It's Because it's domed, you can pick up product and also blend. You can blend this way, holding it that way and blend. You can turn it sideways, blend that way, circular motions. You can pick up product. Great brush, natural hair. This was my first like high-end brush, like high-end. Like this brush is like 40 something dollars here. It's a lot. The name has rubbed off so you can tell how much I love it. But it's been a go-to for blending for me and just finishing up the look. It's great. The 242 is a lot newer for me. It's just a flat brush to pick up shadow, but I think that before I got this brush, I didn't really have a designated flat packing brush. And this has been great to pick up my shimmers, my glitters, my metallics, just pick it up and it just applies it. And even the cut of the brush, I've been using the edge of the brush a lot to do 
to really be precise when I pick shadows up. And finally, I have some fragrances. So the first fragrance entry is Georgia Armani C. This is not a new fragrance by any means. They have done new versions of it, but I love this fragrance. You guys can tell with how much is left. This is um, only the 50 ml though, but clearly I've loved it. Love the bottle, love the packaging. The scent is amazing. Oh, so good. Long lasting. Whatever I walk past, when I spritz this and walk past someone, they're like, oh, you smell really nice. Like, thanks. Let's see. Georgia Armani C. Love it. Really agrees with my body chemistry and it's fantastic. It's, uh, I'm really not good with describing scents. It's definitely, it's floral. That's all you're getting from me. <laughs> it's floral. Look up the um, official notes description. I'm really crap at describing notes. It's been one of my signature fragrances. Now that I've got some new testers in the work, I can give it a bit of a rest because I'm not in a hurry to buy another one. My last entry for my best of 2018 is the Tiffany & Co fragrance. Guys, look at, look at the packaging. It comes, even the whole packaging for the box, it comes in like a nice Tiffany blue box, you lift it up, it just looks like a piece of jewellery, you know? Gorgeous, but that's not why I love it. The actual scent is lovely. It's a lot lighter, it's, it's again in that floral category, but it's a lot more, it's a lot lighter though than the um, Armani. This one I use as more of like an evening fragrance, it's a lot heavier for me in general in terms of the smell and everything, the scent, it's a lot heavier. With the Tiffany & Co, it's a lot lighter, it's more subtle. I've been going between these two, have been my signature fragrances these this year. I'd say this one's floral, but it's a bit muskier, and this one's definitely a lot more floral, so that's that's as much as I'm gonna <laughs> describe as a fragrance. But I love it, even sitting on my vanity, it's like a nice piece of jewelry. The detail, you've got the emblem here, they've even put it on the underside of the lid. It is, you know, fragrance, this caliber really expensive but guys invest in a nice fragrance have a signature scent it's really nice when you have when people associate a scent with so you that concludes my best of 2018 please comment below what your standout product or products are of the year is, is there anything i've got that you love or you hate i'd love to hear about it in the comments guys on your way out please consider hitting that subscribe button for more videos like this and ringing the bell so you don't miss any videos I can't wait to see you back here again guys so this concludes december's video we'll be reverting back to our weekly wednesday upload schedule and i will see you back here in the new year on the 9th of january for the next video wishing you guys a happy new year stay safe enjoy the festivities enjoy this time close out 2018 with a bang set some goals and let's smash 2019 and i hope the new year is your best year yet guys thank you so much can't wait to see you back here again. Click here to catch my last video. Click here to also subscribe and click here for more from these beauty closet. Till next time, guys. 